temperature is a measurement that tells how hot or cold something is. We have two units that we can measure temperature in. The first is degrees Fahrenheit, and this is the U.S. customary unit that we use here in the United States. Um, in daily life, when you hear the weather report, it's given in degrees Fahrenheit. But then we also have the Celsius um, system that is used in other countries, but also used in science. So this chart here shows how the two units are related and also is going to give us a few benchmarks that we can memorize in order to compare other temperatures to those benchmarks. So let's take a look. The um, temperature at which water boils is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you put a pot of water on the stove, it has to, get, has to reach this temperature before, you, before it would be boiling. The equivalent temperature in Celsius is 100 degrees Celsius. At this temperature is the normal body temperature of a healthy human, the average body temperature, is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you took your temperature when you're not sick, um, most people would have something close to 98.6 degrees. The equivalent measurement in Celsius is 37 degrees. And then the temperature at which water freezes is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why um, at school, if it's colder than 32 degrees, if it's below freezing, we don't usually go outside. And the equivalent measurement in the metric system is zero degrees. Now, we are sort of used to these measurements, and we know that when it's 80 degrees, it's pretty warm. 100 degrees Fahrenheit is really hot. 20 degrees we know is really cold because it's below freezing. But it's sort of hard to have some um, to just know automatically in the Celsius system. So my friend told me this poem tonight and I wanted to share with you. You might find it useful to have some benchmarks for Celsius. It goes like this. 30 is warm, 20 is nice, 10 is cool, zero is ice. So 30 degrees is a comfortable temperature, 20 degrees is a cool temperature, um, or is, is sort of warmer than cool, 10 degrees is cool, and once it gets to zero it's frozen. By the way, one more thing to point out on this chart is that um, the temperature that both of these thermometers, where they are, is um, right at room temperature. So that's, I think that's another interesting uh, temperature to know. We usually keep our uh, comfortable room temperature around 68, 70 degrees. Um, so you can see that the equivalent measurement in um, Celsius would be around 20 degrees Celsius is room temperature. And I'm sure you're not surprised, but I have a song that helps us memorize those benchmarks. Um, so it goes like this. Weatherman said it's 32 outside. Water's frozen. You better stay inside. Burr. Body temperature is 98.6. Any higher and you will be sick. <coughs> Mama cooks noodles and boy ain't they swell. Water boils at 212. You might hear a temperature in Celsius. If you are confused, just listen to us. At zero, water freezes, and 100, it boils. 32 degrees is the temperature, boys and goyles. And, you know, goyles, I know we don't usually say that, but boils, you have to rhyme it, so you're going to have to say goyles. Just a few notes about reading a thermometer. Um, Many thermometers are going to be marked off in single units, and they will just count up by one. So this would be 20 degrees Fahrenheit, notice the units, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we keep checking to make sure that it's really in single units, 27, 28, 29, 30. If it matches up with another one of our marks there then that's labeled, then we know that it is me measured in single units. Sometimes, though, you might find a thermometer that is not measured in single units, that doesn't make jumps of one as it goes up. For example, if you tried this one counting by ones, you'd go 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Well, if I get here and say 65 and it's labeled 70, I know that's not right. So I want to try a bigger unit. Let's try and see if it's counting by twos. 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. So we know when we get up here to 80, we need to count by twos, 82, so this must be 84 degrees, and then I'm going to check my units and I see that this thermometer is measuring in degrees Fahrenheit. Over here, sometimes you'll see thermometers, if they're sort of small, that they are marked off 
and then the, the, the number labels sort of jump back and forth from side to side. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then it's going to go 30, 40. So just be aware that this isn't a, this isn't a different um, system. It's not Celsius on one, Fahrenheit on the other in this particular ruler. They're just saving some space and going back and forth in, to, in order to label the numbers. So here I see 30. Halfway, we see a bigger mark, just like on a ruler at the half inch mark. It's a longer line. So this I know is 35, 36, 37. And I'm going to check my units. It's degrees Celsius. And then be aware that there are temperatures that are negative numbers, um, really cold temperatures. And so you're going to have to count backwards down the thermometer in order to get the right measurement. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. So this temperature is negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And be sure whenever you read a thermometer that you check the unit to make sure that you use the right one, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Let's use what we know to solve a couple of questions, or solve a couple of problems. Um, first of all, it asks, which is warmer, 18 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, I'll think about what I know. I know that this temperature in Fahrenheit is colder than freezing water. So this is a pretty cold temperature. And then I'm going to think about the little poem that I said for Celsius that says 30 is warm, 20 is nice. Well, this is just a little bit less than 20, so it's a little bit less than nice. It'll be sort of headed towards cool. So cool is definitely warmer than really cold. So 18 degrees Celsius must be the warmer temperature. When should you wear a coat? At 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius? Well, we just said from our poem that 20 is nice. Remember that we don't go outside if it's less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit to play on the playground. So this would definitely be a measurement, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, when we would need a coat. When can you go hiking? 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 degrees Celsius? Well, I, I hope that this um, number rings a bell, that 68 degrees you might have heard a minute ago was um, about room temperature. And that would be definitely um, a comfortable time to go hiking. 68 degrees Celsius would be pretty hot. Remember that 30 is warm, so 68 must be really hot. And then four, give a reasonable temperature for a refrigerator. Well, I don't know about you, but every once in a while, my, the things in my refrigerator freeze if you're there in the way back, and sometimes things will get a little bit icy. So I know that 32 degrees is too cold because I don't want things to freeze. So a refrigerator should be just a little bit um, above freezing. So a appropriate temperature for a th um, refrigerator is somewhere around 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And last, what would you wear if it was 10 degrees Celsius? Um, for this, I would go right back to the poem that says 30 is warm, 20 is nice, 10 is cool, 0 is ice. So 10 degrees is cool, you're probably going to wear a coat and some mittens and maybe even a scarf.